Hello guys, Lily Anderson is here, and today the take new build from Windows 11 is Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25290. Be going announcement of this Insider Preview on my voice, in 1, 2, and 3. Hello Windows Insiders, today we are releasing Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25290 to the dev channel. TL Doctor this build is available for ARM64 devices as the known issue that resulted in not releasing build 25284 to ARM64 last week has been fixed. We have more new widgets for insiders in the dev channel to try. This build includes a set of general improvements and fixes. What's new? New widgets, Spotify and phone link. Last week, we promoted a preview of the widget for the messenger app. Spotify and Phone Link are now rolling out preview versions of their widgets as well. To give them a try, go to the widgets collection in the Microsoft Store and update to the latest version of the apps. Then open the widgets board and navigate to the widgets picker by clicking the plus button at the top right of the board to pin your widgets. The Spotify and Phone Link widgets on the widgets board. As you give these and other new widgets a try, please let us know what you think through the widgets feedback link in the widgets picker. You should expect to see additional new widgets as more developers create and release widgets for their apps. With the release of Windows App SDK 1.2 developers are now able to create widgets for their apps. Users can access these experiences on their Windows 11 widgets board in current dev channel insider preview builds. If you're interested in developing a widget, watch our latest tutorial video. Here is this tutorial video link in description in this video. Changes and improvements. Back in October with build 25227, we started trying out a small change to the start menu where some insiders saw badging on their user profile notifying them that certain actions need to be taken. We concluded that initial exploration in November. Starting today, we are starting a new exploration of badging on the start menu with two new treatments that some insiders in the dev channel will see. If you see one of these treatments, give us feedback on what you think. As a reminder, it is normal for us to try out different concepts in the dev channel to get feedback. Fixes We fixed the issue causing ARM64 devices to fail to resume from sleep slash hibernate when running build 25281 and getting stuck at the OS boot logo. Fixed an issue where some insiders may have issues accessing websites and other resources via VPN connections. If you use the work Karen documented in this forum post, please reverse those changes once you have this new build installed. Fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience freezes when using the browser and certain other apps in recent dev channel builds. Taskbar and System Tray Fixed an Explorer X crash which could cause the taskbar not to load for some insiders. Search on the taskbar. The fixes only apply for Windows insiders who receive one of the different treatments for how search looks on the taskbar that began rolling out to insiders with build 25252. Fixed an issue where the search box would randomly disappear sometimes when you clicked it, leaving a blank space on the taskbar. Fixed an issue where the search box was shifting to the side slightly when you clicked it. Fixed an issue where the data content area of the processes page might flash once when the changes were applied in the task manager settings page. Fixed an issue where some dialogues did not render in the correct theme when applied from task manager settings page. Fixed an issue where properties in the memory section of the performance page were getting truncated even though there was space to display them. Reduced the transparency of graph colors in the performance page and adjusted the borders to help make them stand out more. Fixed a few issues causing Task manager, task manager crashes. crashes. Typing F in the search box should work again now. You now shouldn't have to make task manager be as wide before the navigation pane appears. If back scaling has been increased, the search box shouldn't overlap with the title bar text anymore. Made some tweaks to address cases where text and dialogues was getting cut off when text scaling was increased. Fixes an issue where certain parts of the title bar couldn't be used to drag the window. Windows Spotlight. The following fixes only apply for Windows insiders who receive one of the different treatments of Windows Spotlight that began rolling out to insiders with build 25281. We fixed the issue causing some people to not get a consistent refresh of images on a daily basis. Settings. Fixed an issue where the preview for Sans Serif collection and personalization fonts was displaying broken glyphs. Others. 
fixed an issue that was preventing narrator from announcing drop-in lists in Excel. Fixed an underlying issue which could cause snipping tool screenshots to become stretched out and distorted in the last few builds if you had multiple monitors. Fixed an issue which could cause a book with system service exception. Fixed an issue which could make the open with dialog crash on launch. Fixed an issue where the open file dialog would hang if you clipped it while using an IME after having selected choose an app on your PC from the open with dialog. Fixed an issue which could cause grouped policy editor to unexpectedly show an error has occurred in the script on this page with an invalid character error when editing a grouped policy. If you have open server set to start at boot instead of manual, that preference should be remembered across OS upgrades now. Please note, you need to be on the build with this fix before it will take effect with your next upgrade. Note, some fixes noted here in Insider Preview builds from the dev channel may make their way into the servicing updates for the released version of Windows 11. Known issues, known issues. New the update new history update page under settings under Windows, Windows update update, update history, history is blank for some blank users after user installing build 25290. This will be fixed via a newer update, update stack update package stack delivered package via Windows, Windows update, update when available. available. New investigating new reports that some insiders some are experiencing repeated bugs after upgrading to build 25284. New launching group policy editor may show an error about a display name attribute not being found. Using Windows Hello to sign in with facial recognition may not work on ARM64 PCS. A workout for this is to use the Hello Pin path. Some users are experiencing longer than expected update times installing recent builds. We are actively investigating this issue. Added two-thirds were investigating reports that some insiders who use IMS are experiencing crashes with some apps like Notepad and Terminal after upgrading to this build. Added two-thirds while using Windows Recovery Environment, Winner, or in doing a clean install of build 25290, users may encounter rendering issues which create difficulty in using these processes. If you need to do a clean install to your device, please obtain the latest dev channel SO. Taskbar and System Tray Again New app icons on the taskbar may appear on the wrong monitor for some insiders with multiple monitors. The taskbar is sometimes cropped in half when using the tablet optimized taskbar. You may also see this issue on secondary monitors. Search, Search on the taskbar task again. again. The, the following known issues only apply, apply for Windows insiders who receive one of the different treatments for how search looks on the taskbar that began rolling out to insiders with build 25252. There is an issue where you will be unable to change taskbar search box to show as icon only via taskbar settings in some cases. To work around this issue, first change to a different option and then after, you should be able to choose to show as icon only. Windows Spotlight Again The following known issues only apply for Windows insiders who receive one of the different treatments of Windows Spotlight that began rolling out to insiders with build 25281. Clicking on the secondary monitor does not dismiss the full screen experience. Spotlight wallpaper doesn't show the correct resolution on multiple slash mixed resolution monitors. For developers, you can download the latest Windows Insider SDK. SDK Nougat packages are now also flighting at Nougat Gallery Windows, which include NetTFM packages for use in NetApps as described at Ocumus slash Windows and Citrusxy packages for Win32 headers and libs per architecture build towels package when you just need tools like MetXX, MagPreX, and SignalX. These Nougat packages provide more granular access to the SDK and better integration in CI slash CD pipelines. About the dev channel. The dev channel receives builds that represent long-led work from our engineers with features and experiences that may never get released as we try out different concepts and get feedback. It is important to remember that the builds we release to the dev channel should not be seen as matched to any specific release of Windows and the features included may change over time, be removed, or replaced in Insider builds or may never be released beyond Windows Insiders to general customers. For more information, please read this blog post about how we plan to use the dev channel to incubate new ideas, work on long let items, and control the states of individual features. These aren't always stable builds, and sometimes you will see issues that block key activities or require work errands. It is important to make sure you read the known issues listed in our blog posts as we document many of these issues with each flight. Build numbers are higher in the dev channel than the Windows 11 preview builds in the beta and release preview channels. 
you will not be able to switch from the dev channel to the beta or release preview channels without doing a clean install back to the released version of Windows 11 currently. Also, because the dev and beta channels represent parallel development paths from our engineers, there may be cases where features and experiences show up in the beta channel first. The desktop watermark you see at the lower right corner of your desktop is normal for these pre-release builds. And finish, and this my announcing Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25290. But yes, is released and on to from February from 2023. Well this video is the end, but here is all link in description in this video, and this is me, Lily Anderson, say bye bye.